Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Mickey Go Local. Now, I didn't really understand what that meant uh, when I first read it, and I didn't realize this wasn't one of the classics. This is actually from 2019. This is one of the newer series, kind of the new style of animation, although it doesn't feel like the new, new version. I, I don't know. I mean, it, 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 yeah, it's, it's new. It, either way, it's uh, it's got a different uh, style. It's it's more uh, internationally flavored, and of course, this actually means this, this Mickey Go Local means um, it sets our main characters, uh, Minnie, Mickey, Goofy, Donald, and Daisy shows up too. Uh, no Pluto, which is weird, but um, it sets them in different locales around the world. It's not just America, and it's also one of the situations where there's almost no real dialogue. It's mostly like, ha ha, ha he, ha ha. There's lots of little noises and giggles and uh, just, you know, noises. Uh, the only thing that I remember hearing is Minnie go, hey Mickey, or my hat. And that was the only English I heard. Everything else was very much just those little noises that mice make apparently and donald donald is usually incomprehensible in the first place so he's just you know donald so uh, but this is a series of shorts it's six of them six six shorts and they're all about two to three minutes each not counting the if you take off the um uh, foreign credits it's usually about two and a half or less minutes per episode uh but he, he sets uh Mickey and Donald in one episode uh, against each other and trying to feed Goofy. Uh, they're both making these dishes uh, out in the street and uh, they keep tempting Goofy one direction or the other. Come and, you know, eat my food, eat my food. And it's they're stealing each other's business in order to get his attention and his business. Well, uh, that doesn't exactly work out the way they think. Um, there's, like I said, another situation where Minnie loses her hat. Mickey goes through every possibility of just every obstacle and try to get this hat that's flown away. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the others here. You can probably look right here. Um, oh, Prank and Spice. Uh, huh. Minnie makes a really spicy dish, and Mickey, well, it's a bit too hot for him. Um, let's see what else. Oh, Georgetown Chase. Come on. Oh, I gotta go this way. Um, oh, there's a, they go to the rainforest. So, yeah, they, uh, they go, Mickey and Minnie go on a little picture-taking tour. Uh, how do you make Kaya? Well, you find out, uh, Minnie runs a place that sells Kaya, and she runs out of ingredients, and there's still customers. So Mickey is on the job to get the ingredients. And at the very end is Year of the Mouse. It's a celebration of the Chinese New Year, and Mickey and Donald dress up as a dragon as part of the celebration, and they find a rival in uh, their antics, for their antics. So, yeah, it's a, it's a fun little thing. It's mainly kid-focused, but I think anybody can appreciate it. I know some people push back on the new style of Disney, the new style of Mickey and Minnie animation. Dude, we got plenty of the old style, all you want. Watch that, but uh, we need to. They need to. They need to appeal to uh, more modern audiences and audiences not just in America and Europe, but around the world. So uh, uh, this style it has a very much a little bit of an anime feel to it, just a little bit, um, but not overtly. There's not a ton of speed lines and and all sorts of other craziness that comes out of out of uh, anime, but. Uh, it will appear to a broader audience, and it's very cute. So, yeah, it's it's that way for a reason, and you can appreciate it because it's Mickey and Minnie, Goofy and Donald, and everybody else. So, Disney's always changing, always evolving. Enjoy it. Uh, it's cute. Again, it's two minutes each or so. It's going to take twelve to eighteen minutes, two, two, two to three minutes each. It'll be pretty easy to go through. So, yeah, give it a shot. If that's your thing, uh, you and the kids will enjoy it. it. There's not a whole lot of depth or anything to it. I, like I said, I just watched them and I already forgot what half of them were about. Uh, they just go by pretty quick. So, yeah, have some fun with it. Something different to watch with the characters you love. So let's pick tomorrow's episode. 75. 75. <laughs>
75. Something tells me 75 is important. No, it's not. <laughs> it's well, actually, it it technically might be because. Uh, oh no, no, it's. Uh, I think we've seen the sequels of this already. Or is there two sequels? No, there's, I think there's only two. Uh, this is the original one, and I've never seen it yet. And uh, well, here we go. We're gonna check off all the Camp Rock. Camp Rock is what we're watching next. That movie. We're watching Camp Rock on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. One more musical from uh, I think it's Kenny. What's his name? Uh, I'm really good at remembering names, but yeah, it's that whole realm of teenagers just rocking out or popping out at camp this time not just at high school with a musical so camp rock tomorrow on the disney plus everyday challenge we'll see you here <laughs>